Good morning. <laughs> Hello. I'm not driving. You can see. You can see the background or my son. Hi Erica. Good morning everybody. Happy Friday. Hey Emily. Yay. <laughs> I have no weights in my car. <laughs> I'm not driving if anybody's nervous that I'm behind the wheel. Hi, good morning. Hey, Dads. Love it. We're talking about breakfast this morning. We um, are changing up our daily routine and heading to the coast for a quick Labor Day getaway. Hi, Robin. Here's my crew. They're watching TV. No weights, just kids. A whole lot of kids, too. Good gracious. Thanks for the hearts. Okay, so I've got 13 breakfast ideas for you. Maybe you're doing all 13, or maybe I'm going to help you switch things up. I'm sorry for the Blair Witch Project look of this all. <laughs> and feel free to interrupt me anytime that you have questions or suggestions, because I also need breakfast ideas, and so does this guy. Yeah, <laughs> the man. Um, so I eat for fat loss. I do not count calories and I want to feel level and strong and able to take care of those people. <laughs> so here are my ideas. If you wanna grab a pen and paper or maybe you don't even own pen and paper in this technological world and you can find this on YouTube in a few days when I upload it for you. Anyways, I hope you're having a good morning. I wanted to give everybody a second to get logged in. So the first thing that I suggest for your breakfast, you're going to love this, bacon, right? Bacon is a uh, protein. It's not the leanest protein. It is fat, but the fat makes things taste good. And as we have learned, fat does not make you fat. It is satisfying. It slows digestion and it's tasty and it's portable. For busy moms, you can just grab some slices and gnaw on it as you're driving down the road, taking the kids to school. Do you love bacon? You gotta give me some hearts if you love bacon. Come on, it's awesome. If I'm gonna have bacon, I am gonna match it with fruit, by the way, right? And your house will smell good for the entire day. Yeah, lots of hearts, everybody loves bacon. Okay, so in addition to bacon, I make egg muffin cups. So you get a muffin tin, you fill it with your eggs and raw eggs and vegetables and you bake it for about 30 minutes at 350 and you've got these portable little egg cups that are delightful and they're filled with vegetables because most of us are not getting enough vegetables during the day. So we've got crispy bacon, egg cups, delicious, and they're quick and a lot of times I'll make them the day before and I'll make enough to make 12 and that way I have breakfast for the whole week. I'm not into having to cook every single morning for every single meal, that, especially for all these people. All these people. <laughs> okay, so bacon is a great breakfast item. Egg cups. My next idea is protein pancakes. And if you're like, ugh, it kinda doesn't sound like IHOP. It doesn't, but you can fill it with protein powder and oats and blueberries. I've got a recipe on my website at fitwithdeb.com. That way you don't have to write down any recipes. And I just cook it on the griddle and make about a dozen or a dozen and a half at a time. So they freeze beautifully and they taste delicious. And you can still get your pancakes and have it with syrup and um, a butter alternative like ghee. And you're on your way to fat loss for the entire day. You're setting yourself up for success for the entire day. Do you love pancakes? Let me hear from you if you love pancakes. Do you love pancakes? I wanna make sure that I still have a signal as I'm barreling down the highway and talking to you. So, okay, good. So you can still hear me if there's hearts, awesome. Okay, so we talked about bacon and egg cups and protein pancakes. Another great breakfast decision that will take you about 90 seconds is protein shakes. And I make these for my kids too. They uh, can have fruit and peanut butter and coconut in them. They're tasty, they're filling. I do recommend a plant-based protein. I use Nature's Pearl because it's the cleanest one I found on the market. 
but maybe you have another version that you like better. Just I would try to recommend staying away from whey protein. That's going to add to a little bit of a belly. We don't really, nobody really wants to have a bigger belly that I've ever met, except for maybe these guys. <laughs> Those guys are real proud when they have a big belly. Here's the other kid. <laughs> yeah, we want breakfast to taste good. That said, the guy next to me does not need breakfast to be a typical breakfast. So Coach Jason tends to see breakfast as more of a first meal for the day. So he is okay having leftover chili for breakfast. That may make you feel sick. Um, but he's to the point where he sees food as fuel and he likes chili. And so if you can do that, that is another breakfast option to have leftover dinner. Oh, a fiesta bowl, turkey, peppers, grilled kale. Absolutely, avocado, yes. Anything with avocado, <laughs> I am on board with. Okay, so egg cups for breakfast, crispy bacon for breakfast, protein shakes, protein pancakes. The key, you keep noticing, I keep talking about uh, protein because, yeah, Stephanie's on board. She knows what's up. You don't just have fruit. Yeah, you're okay with having leftover dinner. Sometimes I can do it. It does depend on what the food is because some stuff, uh, I, no thank you. <laughs> Another breakfast item for you, omelets. So it's still in the egg family, but cooking in a different way. I personally can't actually make an omelet. It's more of like scrambled eggs with vegetables mixed in there, but it's really filling and eggs are super cheap. <laughs> I'm all about cheap because again, all these people, they all have mouths and huge stomachs. <laughs> so making omelets, that can be something that maybe you haven't done in a while. I personally do not eat the yolks, Leah, but it's okay if you do. It, that's kind of like a controversial thing where nutritionists are always going back and forth on if they're good for you or not. So you can always split it down the middle and do half egg whites and then put egg yolks for every other egg that you add in. But I personally do liquid egg whites that I can pour straight from the carton. Sorry, I'm shaking so much. We're on a bumpy highway. I am not driving. And our newest favorite thing is, this is what we love, is breakfast sausage crumbles. So we cook a pound or two of breakfast sausage and sprinkle it on our food. So we'll sprinkle it on our omelets, stuff like that, or yesterday's dinner, whatever we're too lazy to actually cook. And again, breakfast sausage is mm, not something I would recommend eating every single day because again, it's not lean. There is a lot of fat. You want some fat, but we don't want to be on overdrive in the fat department, but it tastes so delicious. And I do re recommend getting a high quality um, sausage that is not filled with too much sodium and like gross nitrates and disgust. Okay, so my next item for your breakfast is oatmeal. And I do recommend gluten-free oats. We don't want them to have that gluten. I sometimes make a baked oatmeal that's delightful. It's so good. It's so easy. It's so quick. If you have a big family, why not make your oats the night before in a crock pot, right? Or you can just make it in the morning. This is not the packets of oats that come uh, like flavored with raisins and cinnamon and such because that's really just filled with lots of sugar. So if you can avoid that, that would be really helpful. I make a mean crustless veggie quiche. So it does have, so you like overnight oats? Yeah, that's so great. Um, I like um, definitely make an oatmeal, try to go like no sugar. So instead I'll add fruit to sweeten it from Cancun. You're from Cancun, are you serious? Is it gorgeous down there? I'm so jealous. I wanna be in Cancun. We should have gone there instead. But my veggie quiche, um, Lots of, you can put lots of different vegetables and I put the eggs in there, a little bit of cheese, of course bacon crumbles, and you bake that for more like 45 minutes. I've got that recipe definitely on my Instagram page at Fit with Deb. You can find that, it's delicious. Okay, so busy, you're having a busy day or you overslept, you have to eat breakfast. Breakfast is required. You know that that gets the, the machine running for the day. I like to have Dale's protein bars and I actually have one with me because I always like to have food in the car. This is the best protein bar that I have found that's on the market. 
the bad news is it's so fresh that you kind of have to keep it refrigerated. It can't just sit in your car or hang out in your purse for a few days, but it's a great vegan option for you with high protein. So that's another thing that I always have ready within arm's reach for me. Another great breakfast idea for you is you're going to go to allrecipes.com, so www.allrecipes.com, and you're going to search chicken salad balsamic. Oh, and Dale's, you get those online. It's uh, like dalesrawfoods.com or something. They have lots of different products, but you can only get it online. No stores ever, unfortunately. They're so delicious. Uh, don't get any of the ones that have chia seeds in them. They taste awful like sawdust. <laughs> I like the graham cracker ones. Um, so balsamic chicken salad from allrecipes.com and it's got some chicken in it so you're getting your protein. It's got crunch because it's got celery and walnuts and it's got sweetness because it's got apples and it's tangy with balsamic vinegar. And I make the recipe times six because <laughs> there's six mouths to feed, right? So I, I always add, uh, I always triple every recipe, or for this one, I make it times six because Coach Jason likes to have it for all meals all day long. <laughs> he can't get enough of it. And this morning, we had, I think I have some extras. I'll show you. Um, let me get in my purse. We made pumpkin chocolate chip muffins, and this is not my recipe. Yeah, he'll have chicken for breakfast. He'll have chili for breakfast. I'm trying to open a Ziploc while I'm talking to you. <laughs> Sorry. Look at these. That's That can be your breakfast. Chocolate chip pumpkin muffins, by the way. Go Steelers. <laughs> and I make that recipe times six as well so that I can have 36 muffins. They freeze perfectly. It's delicious because it's almost pumpkin season. Everybody's, once it's September, everybody's like all about some pumpkin. Pumpkin is a, a year-round treat, everybody. You can have pumpkin anytime you want. And um, I think those are all my suggestions. I wrote them all down because I'm so ADD. Um, so for breakfast, here's my last rundown and then I'm gonna enjoy the scenery on our delightful vacation getaway. I eat for fat loss. It's a sustainable lifestyle. I don't count calories. I want to enjoy breakfast and not force it down and gag the whole time. Egg cups, protein pancakes, protein shakes, chicken sausages as well as regular pork sausage i i dig swine bacon omelets oatmeal veggie quiches dale's protein bars leftover dinner oh that could be iffy balsamic chicken salad and protein pumpkin chocolate chip muffins so do you have any questions for me because i know my internet has been totally sketchy um and i don't know where we are at all somewhere in North Carolina right now on the highway. Do you have any questions for me or suggestions? I love suggestions for breakfast that I maybe don't think to cook and make for my delightful family. Nothing. Everybody's still waking up, aren't you? It's 930 in the morning here. Y'all should be pretty awake by now. Okay, so I am going to upload this to YouTube at some point. I'm guessing I won't have a signal in the sand, but I'm so glad that you joined me this morning. Make sure that you're having breakfast seven days a week. Don't make it optional. Stephanie, you're awesome. I love you. You're fabulous. <laughs> Oh yeah, pancake batter and a waffle iron. Yeah, so you can make it protein waffles. That's a really good idea too. I do have a waffle iron. Oh, thank you. We're hoping that there's no rain because rain plus the, these guys, no bueno. <laughs> okay, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful Labor Day weekend and I'm going to